Today we are going to be reviewing the iPhone 6. Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric Mapbind here, and today we're going to be reviewing the iPhone 6. We're going to be talking about the new size, some of the amazing features, just taking a really cool look uh, at what the iPhone 6 is. Now, I don't know if you can see, but it's embossed right here on uh, the packaging. It's a nice design, very simplistic, uh, but still elegant at the same time. Uh, this kind of thing you would expect from Apple. Um, but we are going to be going a little bit in-depth uh, a little later on with the iPhone 6 Complete Beginner's Guide video. Uh, so that's going to be for people, maybe they switched over from Android, um, people who are uh, just interested to learn how everything about the iPhone 6 uh, functions and works. But we're going to be doing that later on. We're also going to be doing the iPhone 6 Best Games and Best Apps so you guys can learn about all the cool games and apps you want to download on your iPhone 6. Uh, all that's going to be coming out this week on AppFind, so be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. And we're also going to be doing iPhone 6 Plus videos because we purchased that one as well for you guys. All right, let's take a look at the iPhone 6. All right, so we're going to take the iPhone 6 out of the box here. As you can see, they've done a really elegant job uh, making it slightly embossed, as you can see, uh, but keeping a white top, keeping it very simplistic, just iPhone. They didn't add the 6. They didn't add anything like that. That way, it's a nice, simplistic style. Uh, and I actually really like the cases this year. It looks great. Um, it's basically uh, simple is better, one of you know Apple's philosophies here. So as you can see, I'm just going to be taking the uh, iPhone 6 out here. Now, uh, I did install some apps on it already. Already, but I have not taken off the protective cover, so we're going to be taking a look at that in just a second. Put this down for a second here. And what we also have is some of the things that come with the iPhone 6. Now, there is a beginner's guide manual, uh, instructions, all that stuff. I'd recommend watching my complete beginner's guide video uh, because that's going to give you guys like a more uh, viewing, like hands-on approach to what the iPhone 6 uh, has to offer. This is going to be more text-based, um, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, in here you definitely have the uh, you know the Apple earpods that are going to be coming with any. Uh, iPhone purchase that you make. You've got your um, wall mount charger and cable right here. But we're going to put these off to the side. We're going to take a look at what we really wanted to see and that is the iPhone 6. So I went ahead and removed the protective coverings and I just wanted to take a quick look first at the overall design and layout of the device. The first thing you're going to notice is that the top does not have the lock button. The lock button is actually now on the right side. Now the reason they did this is so you don't have to hold your phone like this when you're locking it and accidentally you know, risk dropping it down because it doesn't completely fit in the palm of your hand with the new larger screen. So now you're able to hold it right in the center and easily with your index finger just hit that lock button just like so. Uh, so that definitely makes it a lot easier. They definitely uh, didn't just put it on. They made a lot of research and probably figured out the best spot um, to put that lock button. Now on the sides here, as you can see, it actually is thinner than the iPhone uh, 5S. And you can see that we have the mute switch and volume rocker. And then on the bottom here, you can see we have uh, our headphone jack, lightning connector, and speaker. And then on the other side, as mentioned previously, uh, you do have the lock button and the SIM card tray. So basically what we have right here is a great device. Uh, it is thinner, it is larger, um, and it looks great. So as you can see, if you take a look on the back, uh, it is a new style back design. You do have these thin bars across the top and the bottom. The camera is extruding just a little bit. Now that's the only um, con I've had so far with the iPhone 6 uh, and iPhone 6 Plus is the fact that the camera does stick out a little bit and it is pretty visible and you can feel it. Um, but other than that, I definitely love the way the new iPhone 6 feels. It feels great in your hand. It is something where you can do everything uh, with one hand. Now, I did the finger test, um, and basically I wore, was able to get to the top uh, corner with both thumbs. However, it is a little bit more of a stretch uh, than with the 5S, but I definitely feel that for people who are looking to use their phone with one hand, they can do that with the iPhone 6. Not with the 6 Plus, but with the 6, you can still do that. Uh, it's not just the uh, the iPhone 5 and 5S that you can use with one hand. You can still use you know the 6 with one hand and be able to get pretty much anywhere on the screen. Um, but it definitely, it does look like a great device from the outside. Now let's take a look at iOS 8 working on the iPhone 6. 
Now let's take a quick look at how iOS 8 works with the iPhone 6. Now I'm not going to be doing a full review of iOS 8, I've done that previously, I've talked about all the hidden features, um, all the battery life tips and tricks, keyboards, all that cool stuff already on the channel, so I don't want to incorporate that into the iPhone 6 review and take away from the iPhone 6 itself. However, I did want to take a look at how iOS 8 seamlessly integrates itself into the iPhone 6. So as you can see here, you do have some more space on the screen, it is 6 rows by 4 rows, and you have margins uh, that are slightly larger than the previous uh, iPhone 5 and iPhone 5S, uh, and basically what that allows you to do is have a little bit more room to navigate. Uh, so as you can see, I have already installed a lot of applications on this device, uh, but you guys are going to be able to see that later on in some of my other videos. Um, so as you can see here, iOS 8 works flawlessly with it. You can see that you can actually use the parallax effect. Uh, you can access the spotlight search and it comes up right away. Now there were some minor issues with older devices in iOS 8. Uh, I have not seen any of those minor issues on the iPhone 6 uh, with a little bit of time that I've been using it so far. Uh, now I'm sure they're going to fix the iOS 8 issues on previous devices in later updates, but they definitely tested it very long uh, on the iPhone 6 and it seems to be working well uh, so far there isn't the spotlight search uh, glitch that where it's you know not as fast as um, uh, on uh, previous devices on iOS 7 but basically iOS 8 seems to be running very quickly uh, with the spotlight search and with all of the uh, the small little hiccups that were present in some of the other devices in iOS 8 Overall, I'm very satisfied with the iPhone 6. It feels great in my hand. And if you guys want to learn a little bit more, watch the iPhone 6 Complete Beginner's Guide video. Uh, let me know what you think of the iPhone 6 down in the comment section below. Let me know if you're thinking about buying it. Once again, I'm Eric from AppFun, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.